Hi everyone, Mr. James here on a hot and humid night in the middle of Manitoba. It is approaching 1 o'clock in the morning, but it is 31 degrees centigrade in my house. Very hot, very sticky. So rather than sleeping, I'm finding myself lying awake, thinking about tips that I can share. And it occurred to me where we left things last time with our movie pass create and edit um, uh, view was that we had changed the default Boolean template so that all Booleans, nullable or not, rather than being rendered with a drop down box or a checkbox, would be rendered using this new style. But what if we want to render, maybe we want the drop down box, maybe we're required to use a drop down box because of some esoteric, weird thing that some designer told us to use. I don't know why. But maybe you don't want to use these. Maybe maybe a checkbox is more appropriate in some cases when you have a non-nullable Boolean type. So how do we make it render with those default control templates? Let's do that really quick. We're going to jump back into Visual Studio. I'll just close this down. Now, the reason why those templates are being invoked is because we've added this display in editor templates. I'm going to change these to uh, switched boolean and switch boolean on both my display and editor templates and now when I rerun the application of course the type is not going to match so as you'll see really quickly here the default control templates will be used but I want this skip the line to be rendered using that fancy new template that I've created how do I make that happen simple I jump into my movie pass I'm already using data annotations to set the display name on the label I'm gonna add another one in here called UI hint and I'm gonna tell it which control template to use so in here I just type in switched boolean and sure enough when I run my code we're going to see that form again, and though the nullable type, uh, which we left alone, is still going to be rendered with a drop down box, the boolean with uh, the non nullable boolean will now just simply be that new control template that we used. And I did something wrong there. Let's have a look and see what that is. Switched boolean. Oh, I see. Apparently, the uh, runtime expects proper spelling um, that's cool so good to know let's uh, try running that again with the corrected spelling and sure enough we get our new display template hey I've got this code checked into uh, github so if you're following the project on github awesome if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section below uh, again I'm mr. James uh, it was fun having you around here on this hot Manitoba night uh, send us thunder showers if you can that always cools the prairies down we'll see you next time